In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a new operator that will give us a new command that we can run in the Python console. The new command can also be used in scripts. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to link the command to a button. The starting point for this tutorial is a file I made in a previous tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can make a similar script yourself. I'm going to use one of the example scripts that comes with Blender in the templates menu Python Operator Simple. The script is called Operator Simple but it probably looks very complicated and there are only two lines of code that do anything productive. The rest of the script sets up the command. The last line is a call to the command. What does the new command do? Well, this line sets up a loop and this command is inside the loop. Loops run commands repeatedly. Each time through the loop, the print command will be executed. For all the objects in the scene, ob will be set equal to each object and print ob will print each object. Before I run the script and register the new command, I'm going to put a hash character in front of this line so that the line is ignored because I'm going to run the new command from the Python console. If necessary, drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and click Run Script. Add some objects to the scene. Copy the new command. Control and V to paste. Press Enter and we get a list of the objects in the scene. I'm going to go back to the script that I wrote. Highlight it all except for the import BPY line. Right click and copy. Go back to the operator simple script, highlight and delete the productive commands and paste. Scrolling up, def main defines the main function of the new command for my lines of code to be inside the definition, the lines must be indented. I'm pressing the tab key to indent the lines. I have jumped ahead. Turn word wrap off to indent the last line. Now when we run the script and use the up arrow to bring back the last command and press enter, it runs my script. Scroll down to look at the code that sets up the new command. A class definition defines a new object type. When we run the command, we create a new instance of a simple operator. I'm going to give the class a more meaningful name. I will also need to change the name of the class in the function that registers the class and the function that unregisters the class. The class has two properties. The first, Blender ID name, is the name of the new command. I'm going to make the name of the command more meaningful. There are rules for the names of commands. They must be all lowercase and contain a full stop. You can use an underscore character. Myops is short for my operators. The label is for a tooltip or a button. The class has two methods. The poll method checks the environment before execution. This line checks to see if there is an active object in the scene. 
which was relevant to the original simple operator, but not to mine. For simplicity, I'm not going to have a poll method, I'm going to delete it. The execute method simply calls the main function in which we put the monkey robot code. The last few lines are to do with registering the class, which makes it available for us to use. This line is another check, but it is not essential. If I delete it, we simply call the register function. I'm going to change the test call to match the new name. Press A twice to select all, X to delete, and run the script. Copy the new command, paste it into the console and press enter. The script is saved internally inside the Blender file, but I will give it a more meaningful name. That's the end of the tutorial, but I will put some additional material at the end showing how to make rows of monkey robots using loops. I'll put the start and end files for you to download at my website, click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye. And now for the additional material. Make sure the new command is copied, click the add new text block button and paste, add the line import bpy, click to move the 3D cursor and run the script. I have jumped ahead and set up the first loop. This command sets the X location of the cursor to minus 8, so it will move the insertion cursor somewhere over here. For I in 1, 2, 3, 4, the first time through the loop, I will be set equal to 1, and the commands will be executed. The next time through the loop, I will be set equal to 2, and the commands will be executed. Next time through the loop, 3, and the command's executed, so the commands will be executed 4 times. Each time through the loop, we will add a monkey robot, and we will add 5 to the x location. Plus equals takes the x location, which will be minus 8 to begin with, and adds 5 to it, which will become minus 3. The next time through the loop, x will be minus 3 and we'll add 5 to it so it will become 2 and so on. I've jumped ahead and added the second loop. The main difference being I've used the range function to return the values for i. It will return 1, 2 and 3. When I run the script we should get 4 monkeys across and then added on 3 monkeys going back and that's what we get. And this is code that will give three rows, each row containing four robots. There is an inner loop or nested loop that creates a row of four robots and an outer loop that resets the X location ready for the next row and sets the Y location for the next row.